92.5. Well, Brantley, first of all, let's talk about um, how early it is in the morning and, and how late you got here into town. What happened on your trip in from Nashville? They man, I just love flying so much. I just want to express that uh, <laughs> up front and let let everybody know at the, at the airport last night. We really appreciate the the one and a half hour delay. Um, on top of the fact that we thought it was rush hour, so we left at five thirty. Yeah, um, we probably should have left around seven. Uh, so we left a little early. My my girlfriend was not very happy about that. And Tell everybody who your girlfriend is. Uh, well, you know, I mean, <laughs> why you wanna. So, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you haven't heard that song before, that right? Plane took off. <laughs> <laughs> Jana Kramer, and both of you are having an amazing year. But congratulations to you, man. So, what did I just hear? So, you'll you'll end the year with the second most played song in country music. Yes, my really yeah. 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 right? That's awesome. You're amazing. Thank you very much. So, you know, it kind of puts everything in perspective. Mm-hmm. So, you have a couple nights that you don't get a lot of sleep. Yeah, a few of them. Right? Yeah, around the holiday time, you know, we're supposed to take our little break. You know? mm-hmm. Right. That's, that's the holiday. That is not a vacation. That is not a vacation. Having we're, to spend all that time with your girlfriend and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> is that what no, you mean? Not that. I think it's more family than anything. Uh, like, where have you been? We miss you. I'll miss y'all too. But right. You travel. have to make the rounds and stuff. Right. So, so do you get to do Thanksgiving at home or no? Uh, we We actually went to Detroit for Thanksgiving. Uh, Beautiful course. place to be, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Especially this time of year. I woke up one morning and the sun was out. It was great. The next morning, like, it was buried. Now, I'm not used to having to use one of the ice scraper things. I'm from Georgia. You know, yeah. we have one of those things. We get it from, you know, grandparents in Indiana. And that's <laughs> like, they're like, you're really going to use this. And we never need it in Georgia. So I had to use one of those. And it, I don't, I'm not really a big fan of cold weather. Yeah, I hear so, you. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. Welcome to Philadelphia. Yeah, you missed the snow it, yesterday. Yeah. Oh, that's why we yeah, delayed it every day. You don't see it right? here, but it was uh, just in the outlying areas. It was all snow yesterday. Yeah. Let's talk about your mailbox and all the checks you're getting. I, I noticed uh, you wrote "My Kind of Party" for Jason Aldean and Dirt Road Anthem. Yes, sir. What is that? Millions? Wait, what do you do? You don't even have to work, do you? Yeah, I work. <laughs> man, you'd be surprised. I mean, I know. Still got to pay bills. My job looks like it's a blast, and it is. It's a lot of fun. You know, it's a dream, and it's it's a lot of paid dues paying off, but. Man, the other side of things is rough. We're on yeah. planes a lot, like last night with an hour and a half delay. Just wanted to remind you guys. And I would also like to just throw this out there on air that uh, the rental car company Hertz only had one poor old lady behind the desk last night and about 35 people in line. And that was here in Philadelphia, so I'm sure she was smiling by the time you got to her. <laughs> oh, yeah, she was excited. <laughs> Especially when she found out that we had put in a special order for a large SUV, yeah. and we ended up with a minivan. <laughs> I don't know if you know my radio rep, George Briner, right. but he wasn't There's happy about that, about him, and she all. wasn't happy about being there, so we weren't happy about having to wait on them to get things figured out. So thank you, Hertz Rental Service. Um, That's why they're called Hertz. <laughs> yeah, Hertz. Living up to their name. Excellent. <laughs> There's a story about you with a car. You had a car, and you sold it to somebody for, what, $4,000? A mercury? Yeah, man, I'm upset. Man, you just hitting some chords this morning. I'm gonna end up having, I'm gonna end up having to beat somebody up to, to left some steam off before I leave. That'd be Philadelphia. Crockett right over there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you don't want to hit He's, him in the head. You'll break your hand. You break your hand. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I carry brass knuckles. Um, no, it, it, uh, no, it's, it's been interesting. It's been. It's well, you had, a week. you had what was it a mercury what kind of car was it uh a mercury cougar uh-huh. 68 mercury cougar wow, saw nice. my kind of party i wrote when i was 17 years old um and that's the take the cover off the 68 well, you okay. know one just yeah. down recorded hmm. that's that's the car it's talking about it's also the car that's on the cover of my first record so i needed some money because i couldn't pay my band for like you know we were coming up on holiday time and and uh i just had that wreck and stuff and i was going through some some transitions in life and i was like man you know what i need i need money bad i was broke brother mm-hmm. and i knew what broke was for quite a long time a lot of um, spam huh oh yeah definitely <laughs> yeah ramen noodles yeah <laughs> trash cans in big cities yeah. you know garbage no i'm just kidding <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> oh it All got right. my, it got bad turn. no <laughs> no but I, I was i was i was pretty broke so i sold it to him and my dad was standing right there in the parking lot with me and he was uh, you know he's a mechanic in in my small town in a place called chevron and he said man i'll tell y'all what now 
<laughs> and you know how they talk when they're when they're really about to screw you over. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, buddy, you, you gave me a real good deal on this car. You and your daddy both, and he's a witness. Y'all come on back anytime when you get your money together, and I'll sell it back to you for exactly what you know I sold it to you. We came back to him. <laughs> my manager finally told me about it. He was like, look, dude, we were going to do a surprise for you or something special for you for, you know, the, the album going gold or something, or the one million fans on Facebook. And uh, he said, but we just got to let you know what what's going on. We talked to Hoyt. That's the guy's name, Hoyt. Oh, yeah. That's his name. Uh, <laughs> we were screwed by Hoyt. Yeah, we, we talked to him. Sounds and, like uh, Hertz. Yeah. <laughs> he said, uh, well, uh, on the phone, they said they talked to him, and he said, "Well, uh, yeah, yeah, it was about four thousand. That was that was a little while back, though, and he, he seems like everything's going on right out. Well, what do y'all say about twenty four? Oh my gosh, twenty four thousand. Yeah, and they got him down to twelve. <laughs> So he changed the oil and washed it. Uh, yeah, but if I there. catch a hold of him when I'm at home, I want to tell you I'm going to have my car back and I ain't going to spend a dime on it. <laughs> so do you have the car now or you do not? I do not. Yeah. I ain't giving that man $12,000. Yeah. Well, you know, there's a little thing called karma. And we see that good things are happening for you. Good things will come to you. And that man will get what he gives, right? There you go. And we used to be buddies, too. That's why I hurt my feelings. We ain't, we ain't friends no more. Yeah. Write a number one song about Hoyt and ruin That's his right. life. That's the way to go. You could be like Taylor Swift. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we are never, ever, ever going to buy cars together. We... <laughs> it's right up your alley. I I think, yeah, we hit. can try it. We'll pull it off. You know? What are you doing for Christmas? Uh, actually, we're going, man, uh, growing up, man, I didn't have the best Christmas experiences, so it's never been like my favorite time of year, and I've never been a big Christmas music fan. You know, around the holidays, everybody starts playing it. Right. I'm sure you guys do. Oh, yeah, yeah. Play <laughs> Appreciate that. Um, <laughs> for those of us that love Christmas music so much. But uh, so we, we figured uh, we'd change some things up this year. Me and uh, somebody very special are going to Cancun the 16th. Nice, nice. <laughs> we're going to switch it up. Instead of the cold weather and the snow, we're going to go to the beach. And we're coming back uh, the 20th. Um, and we're, we'll be staying actually in the Georgia house like. Uh, the 20th through the 27th, and then I have to go back to Nashville for a show the 29th, 28th. Um, or no, Detroit the 28th, that's right. And then we're back in Nashville the 29th. But uh, we get some time in Georgia. So anybody listening for Brantley Gilbert's Christmas album, they're not going to find it this year? <laughs> Definitely <laughs> not. It's not going to be out Definitely there. Not. My girlfriend did a couple of... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> of course. She did... Yeah, Jana did some, some Christmas stuff, yeah. and... And of course, like you know, our producer Scott Hendricks would send her. Uh, you know, the, she she cut some stuff and he'd send her to prove she'd want me to listen to it. Oh, you must have loved that, oh, baby! I love it. That sounds great. Yeah. <laughs> and she did. She sounded great on it. I just, man, I don't know. It's about <laughs> sleigh bells tingling. Turn this thing. <laughs> A good quick story about Christmas music. This is no joke. You remember, and, and nothing against Taylor Swift. I love her to death. But this is, all right, this is redneck stuff from Georgia. I'm a biker, right, from a small town in Georgia. Uh-huh. We we get bored. Um, we were sitting in my buddy Jeremy's garage. And keep in mind, he has three kids, and this is when his mother was alive. She was living with him, and his wife was in the house. We were out in the garage listening to the radio and and, and drinking some stuff and I, I you know I I don't I'm 11 months sober but then you know it was off to the races and it was around the holiday time well that song that, that Taylor Swift did that Santa baby yeah <laughs> Possibly one of my least favorite all time song, you know, and they played that thing on the radio. I don't know if y'all did or not, but back home they were yeah, wearing, yeah, we I mean, they were beating a dead horse with that <laughs> thing. I was like, come on, man. So I said, guys, we, we listened to the radio for a little while, take that CD out. I said, but if that song comes on, and about that time it come on, and she made it to Santa, baby. And about that time, my buddy Justin was standing to my right, and I had my gun on me. Oh, <laughs> I know it sounds bad, but I used to—I used to have a gun everywhere I went. Just, just—you never know what's gonna happen in a small you town. Know. Yeah. You know, small rural town in Georgia. You know, a bypasser may be a terrorist. You never know. You never know. <laughs> you know just, but so I had my gun on me in his garage with his kids. I don't know, man. It was back in the day. You know, it was bad. Um, but I looked. 
looked at my buddy Justin. I just took my gun out of the holster and handed it to him. I said, end it. <laughs> his, he had a whole surround sound system in this garage. Oh. So Justin was like, really? And I was like, yeah, dude, I can't. I can't. I don't have a good shot from right here. And he just pointed and shot inside the garage. <laughs> Hit this surround sound system right on the volume knob. Nigga, oh Santa, gosh. baby. Da, da, <laughs> <laughs> of course, his mom and his wife came outside. And his mom was a force to be reckoned with. She came outside just, what in the bleep, 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 bleep. She I love wasn't that happy. song. Why'd you do that? Like, yeah. oh. Why you want to shoot the radio? I have the CD right here. <laughs> 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 so, yeah, well, I still owe Jeremy a surround sound system, but yeah, there's your Christmas. It's all Taylor's fault. That is fault. awesome. So that no, is a redneck Christmas story right there. That is no <laughs> joke. He more like, redneck than that. He did. The, and he sent me a text two nights ago. He was like, you know, you know, right after Thanksgiving was over, he said, it's holiday time. I just wanted to remind you that when you uh, have gifts in mind and you're buying people gifts, I would still like to replenish my surround sound system <laughs> in my garage. <laughs> We really did actually shoot it. You all. You, know, you awesome. remember I saw Bubba shot the jukebox? Yeah. <laughs> Brantley shot the surround sound. Taylor Swift would be thrilled to hear. Oh, yeah, well, I mean, it wasn't hers a song, you know. It wasn't her fault. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great story. Well, thank you. Thanks for getting up early and hanging with us this yes, morning. Sir. Thank you all for having me. Brantley Gilbert. Yay! Yay!